<sighs> hey everyone, very thinny, sick Tano here, the internet's most coughing music nerd. Not feeling well, but still doing a review of the new Ana Frango Electrico album, Little Electric Chicken Heart. This is the sophomore full-length album of Brazilian artist Ana Frango Electrico, who I am just becoming hip to now, though it seems that she's been releasing music since last year under this name. So I tried this record, just like I do many albums that I see getting a bit of a mild buzz on the internet, and I admit I didn't really know what to expect when I went into this one. It's pretty short, just a 30 minute album, and the cover is just so simple and straightforward. In fact, it looks like an intentionally blurry shot out of a smart-ass French art film that's just in love with how unconventional it is. But no, this again is actually an album cover from a Brazilian rock artist and her band that creatively fuses together elements of chamber pop and samba jazz. And they do it with a style and a recording that sounds like it's straight out of the late 60s, early 70s. Yes, despite this album being very new, Ana Frango Electrico has actually mustered an authentically vintage sound. One that gives me visions of hip art scenes where everyone's wearing tightly fitting black clothing and doing zany choreographed moves in smoky jazz clubs. But don't let these similarities make you assume that this album is just boring or stuffy, because this thing is actually a very fun, play Playful, colorful album with a lot of personality, and smile-inducing instrumentation too. Look at it as if it were that indie pop supergroup Super Organism, but instead what we have here is like a, a, a weird 70s Brazilian art school kid version of that. The whole thing kicks off with the track so day, which I admit is a little repetitive, but it's still incredibly lush groovy. I love the jazzy and warm horns on this track, the ba -ba 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 background vocals. Everything about it is so, ah, uh, just bubbly. The lazily strummed guitars, the plinky glockenspiel, the whole thing just continues to ride this groove and gets progressively louder and louder and more fun. The following track tones things down a little bit more. It's a loose, somewhat jazzy slow burner. I'm not crazy about the more amateurish passages of this song or how long it takes to really get going. Compositionally, there are a lot of things about this track I enjoy. I just think the listless performance takes some wind out of the sails. For a more subdued track, I think the track Chocolate is a lot better. There's a lot of grace shown in the performance despite how slow and spacious a lot of the instrumentation is. Also that transition into the second half is fantastic. The track Say No Cinema seems to pick up the pace in the first leg though, with more fusions of funky samba rhythms as well as jazzy horns, chords, melodies, as well as lots and lots and lots of cheeky group vocals. The song almost feels flirty with how knowingly silly some of the musical components are, but it's all executed so well even if it is a little funny, you can't help but take it seriously. The track Tim Certeza, another great song on the track list here, but one that makes the lo-fi recording quality of some of these tracks very apparent, as some of the louder and more cacophonous spots on the song just get a little um, uh, abrasive. The vocals almost have a punk attitude that's a little reminiscent of uh, groups on the more North American side of things, like uh, King Khan and the Shrines, how they had their own punked out twist on the sounds of soul and funk. Also, the drums in the background occasionally reach a point where they sound just like white noise pummeling away in the background. Still, despite all that, this track still features all of these characteristics of funk and rock and soul and pop music and, and samba coming together into this zany dance party with heads and arms waving in every direction. The song Vinheta is a cool little sad guitar vignette that uh, transitions into the next song on the project. The song Tortura Doris, which is mostly a very subdued, watery guitar ballad, a few old school horn lines here and there. It's a somewhat sleepy but cute track. Loving a lot more the following Devia Terrificado Menos. The absolutely dejected intro on this track is great. It's clunky, it's awkward. Uh, reminds me of tracks off of like Iggy Pop's The Idiot with how alien it sounds, at least in comparison with other tracks off of this project. But then the band explodes occasionally into these more aggressive passages that really lets loose the tension that they were building up on these weird ass verses. Bye. The girthy horns, the noisy drums, those background vocals again during these passages are amazing. The song Caspa is a pretty sweet send-off for the entire record. Feels like uh, the credits rolling on 
uh, a weird foreign film that I just watched. A lot of group singing, a lot of jazzy horn embellishments, a sweet chord set too. It all ends in an endearingly noisy fashion. Overall, this thing, I'm, I'm loving it, but I'm left wanting more, but still loving it. Uh, this is easily one of the most fun records I've heard this year, and uh, it's great that this uh, Brazilian artist was able to come through with this old school yet refreshing and exciting sound. Hopefully more people pay attention to this band and the Brazilian music scene as well as a result of this project. Not to say every other album and artist from there sounds like this, they don't, but Ana Frango Electrico could certainly be the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the fantastic stuff going on down in Brazil right now. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best of the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Little Electric Chicken Heart, forever.